Hello, today we're going to take a look at the unofficial Coinbase iPhone application. Now this iPhone app was just released on June 19th, 2014 by a developer named Andrew Vilsack. Now he does not work for Coinbase and this app is not an official Coinbase application, but Coinbase has made a public statement on their Facebook page about the app saying, quote, Great to see this community contributed app. We reached out to the dev to review the code and believe it is secure. Unquote. So the app uses the open source Coinbase API to log into your Coinbase account and perform pretty simple and basic tasks, but it doesn't allow you to actually purchase any Bitcoin on your iPhone. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to purchase Bitcoin from Coinbase on your iPhone. But before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to the developer, Andrew, because many people's first reaction to this app is negative because here's a guy who isn't affiliated with Coinbase, but creates an app called Coinbase that may confuse some people and jeopardize one's security if this app is unsecure. So at the end of the day, you know, it's free. It uses the trusted Coinbase API. Coinbase has looked into it and it does serve a purpose. So, you know, thank you, Andrew, for putting the time into developing this app and giving it to all of us for free. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at the Coinbase iPhone app. I'm going to pull up my iPhone screen right here. Okay, so here is the Coinbase application. I've already downloaded it from the App Store. I'll just open it right up. And you can see that it just basically looks like the Coinbase website. We can click on sign in or sign up. I've uh, reinstalled the app so you can see what this looks like from the very beginning. Now I'm going to sign in. Okay, now I have this uh, verification code that I need to enter that's sent to me in a text message so that nobody can log into my account unless they have my cell phone. So I'm waiting for that code to arrive. Now this is just uh, standard Coinbase security protocol, what we're doing here. This is two-point authorization and essentially what we're doing now is we're authorizing the Coinbase iPhone app to access our Coinbase account. But we would just click on authorize and we'll get through this screen. And this is our home screen. This is really our transaction history screen. Uh, you can see we have some buttons here at the top. We have a send, request, and a scan. And that's really all we can do. Um, I'll just start with the send button. We can click on send and we can send money to an email address. Um, so I'll just type in an email address right now. I mean, I'll just do example. And what I really like about this is that we can choose an amount in Bitcoin or in US dollars. And that just makes it really simple for somebody. Uh, they could just simply select US dollars and just say, you know, five bucks. Whoops. Five bucks in US dollars. But in Bitcoin, that's really. 0 0.00856. So this is really cool. You can send money to somebody to an email address. Now I just want to make a quick note about sending money. I did a test um, and when you send money to somebody's email address, that money's gone from your account forever. You can't cancel that request. So make sure that if you send somebody money that they can actually get it. Um, if they don't have a Coinbase account, they'll need to create a Coinbase account to receive the money that you're sending them. So I just want to point that out because uh, I sent a dollar to another email address that I have and I was unable to recover the dollar because uh, I don't have a Coinbase account with that email. So just take that into consideration. Let's go back and now let's click on request. And this is really cool. We can request money. We can request Bitcoin with an email address. So we can just send somebody an email address say, hey, you." You know, I'm requesting that you pay me uh, $5 in Bitcoin and they can basically log into their account and send you that money. Once again, they'll need a Coinbase account to fulfill the request. You can also request using a QR code, which is awesome. 
uh, I'll just select US dollars once again I'll do a dollar and when you click on request you get the QR code and that's really cool because let's just say you're next to me we're sitting down at the dinner table I can just bring up this QR code I'm requesting that you pay me five dollars or a dollar and you can just scan this QR code using this app uh, and I thought that was really really cool and the way you would do that is by pressing scan and you press scan and you can basically scan the QR code that is on the other phone so that's really it I mean that's all you can do with this app uh, pretty simple pretty basic but at the end of the day um, it's nice to see an application on the App Store uh, it's nice to see Apple moving in that direction now let's just say you wanted to purchase Bitcoin because right now we can't purchase any Bitcoin this is all the app can do transactions settings I mean there's nothing that we can do here uh, we can just do send request and scan we uh, we can't buy any Bitcoin so let's take a look at how we would buy some Bitcoin I'm just gonna go back to the home screen now Coinbase has actually released a statement just a few days after or I'm sorry a day before this app was released and that's the fact that they have released a new version of their mobile site uh, and this is huge because this basically means that we don't need an application uh, this is their answer to Apple's uncertainty on Bitcoin apps so all we need to do is open up Safari okay and we can just go to coinbase.com and we can go to coinbase.com and we can just click on this menu button and we can log in to coinbase.com just like we would on a computer and we can purchase Bitcoin just wanted to point that out to you uh, I think coinbase right now is still only available to US customers but I gotta imagine that they will be accepting uh, worldwide international customers at some point hopefully very soon so I hope you enjoyed this video it's just a very quick basic walkthrough of this uh, unofficial coinbase app I know we're all kind of waiting for coinbase to release an official Bitcoin application and when they do please believe I will review it and show you what it looks like and we're all looking forward to that so once again thank you so much for watching leave me a comment if you have any suggestions or any comments about really this whole situation uh, I know a lot of people have different perspectives on this app and this situation with coinbase so looking forward to those comments and I'll see you in the next video thanks